Hey guys, it's your boy Mark with another video. Here to give you my review of NJPW G1 Climax 29, 2019, day 7, I believe. Yep, just finished watching. Yep, you guessed it. The highlights of the show yet again, so now I'm going to give you my review. Honestly, this might have been my favorite G1 day so far. I mean, you had a lot of fun stuff, and the last two matches were absolutely fantastic. I kind of want to give them higher ratings, both of them, than what I already have. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite day so far. Um, good stuff, man. Like, really. Especially the main event. Especially the last two matches, I should say. Opening match, we have Zack Sabre Jr. versus Bad Luck Farley. This match was actually fun. Um, I don't know why New Japan has this obsession with um, taking the fight to the outside into the crowd area. It seems like they do that for every single show, but they did it here. They did it here twice tonight, actually. And it was a lot of fun. Um, I liked at the start when Zack Sabre Jr. was like trying to get on, um, not trying to sound sexual, um, get on Farley, trying to give it a submission hold on him, and then they end up fighting way out in the crowd. Zack Sabre Jr. sprinted in the ring, and then Farley just missed the count and got counted out, so Zack Sabre Jr. finally wins his first points of the G1. So good for him. Next up, we have Tan uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Lance Archer. This is another fun match. Um, I like the... I don't want to overuse this term because I've said it a lot in these G1 reviews, I believe. Um, David versus Goliath type of thing. Tana and Lance Archer. You know, Tana, you know, a little bit small compared to Lance Archer. Or maybe I'm reading it wrong. I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't really remember this match. I remember thinking it was a fun match. But um, and I'm pretty sure Tanahashi won via... Roll up, or was it Kendo one via roll up? I don't know. Either way, either way, I know Tana won, so whatever. And it says I wrote it three stars, so yeah. Next up, we have Kenta versus Evil. Yes, I just mentioned Kenta. Uh, this match was actually really fun. Up to this point, this was my favorite match of the night. Um, Kenta, um, he was um. Uh, Evil and Kenta took it out in the uh, to the outside, and they were out there for a while, actually. And then, eventually, they both beat the count, and near the end, there were tons of reversals, tons of surprise pins with surprise kickouts. Just a lot of fun stuff. Ultimately, Kenta picked up the win after hitting a GTS. Yeah. So, Kenta undefeated in the G1, which is awesome. I wish Jay White was also undefeated in the J1, but, of course, they love pandering to Smarks, because... Who hate Jay White, so that sucks. I know. Um, next up, we have Kota Bushi vs. Sonata. This match was fantastic! Wow. There was this one epic sequence where they were just... It was one of those times when two wrestlers do some awesome-ass technical stuff for, like, a good 40 seconds, and it's just non-stop, and then when they have a little break, that's when the crowd is like, Woo I love those moments, man. And that was right here. This match had a lot of great counters. Uh, these two guys stole each other's finishes heaps of time. It's like you had Ibushi doing the skull in, and you had Sonata doing Ibushi's finisher. Um, the, the knee thing that he does. It was just counter after counter. Eventually, it was Kota Ibushi who picked up the win. I think it was, at least. Either way, this match was fantastic. One of my favorite matches of the G1, no doubt. At least so far, favorite matches of the G1. Now we're going to the main event. Probably my favorite match of G1. Kazuchika Okada versus Will Ospreay. This is all the A block, by the way. This match was amazing! This match was non-stop technical wrestling, non-stop high-flying. Just epic stuff that you would, like you would expect. I wish I had watched their match from um, the New Japan 46th anniversary, I believe. Um, I believe was, Okada was still in his fourth reign. As IWGP champion. But either way, this match was amazing. Will Ospreay was amazing. Okada was amazing. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish Ospreay had defeated Okada. But you just know they love pandering the smucks. Um, but I'm, I'm a huge fan of both these guys. Don't, don't get me wrong. But I'm, I was still rooting for us, Ospreay more. A little bit, you know. But this match was amazing. A lot of high-flying technical stuff. Okada was fantastic as well. Um... And Okada ended up getting the win, so yeah. Overall, awesome show. Um, day 7 G1 Climax. Um, awesome. 
I loved it, and uh, I know that Marvel's um, Marvel's uh, at Comic Con right now. Uh, they might have already announced Phase Four movies. I really want to get my reaction to whatever they announce um, for the for um, at Comic Con. They might they might have announced it already for all I know. But um, yeah. And uh, yeah. So yeah, that's my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.